Um, to start with the, the original 20th century totalitarian ideology, which originally called itself fascism, if in any account you read of fascism, historical account you read, from its origins in Italy, uh, through Spain, Portugal, Croatia, Hungary, uh, Slovakia, etc. If you take out the word fascist and put Catholic right wing, it's the same story. There's no difference. And if you add parties in political alliance with the Vatican, it's the same. All of them. Fascism is another word for the Christian Catholic right wing. In, in Slovakia, the actual head of the fascist dictatorship was a priest, Father Tizo. In almost every case, the regime was in holy orders and or with the direct alliance with, um, with the, the Pope himself. That's a simple matter. Anyone can check it out. I'm not going to assert it now. I would just say uh, fact-checking and I would be as one on this point. Now, that's not completely true with national socialism. It's true of the Nazi party in Austria and Bavaria in its heartlands that it begins blessed by the Vatican, by a concordat with the church, by the Protestant churches also. But it's not true to say it's a Christian movement in quite the same way. It's a pagan movement in, to some extent. Um, my favorite example is this, I suppose. Uh, Joseph Goebbels was expelled from the Catholic Church. He was. He was the only Nazi who was. Why was he expelled? For marrying a divorced Protestant. <laughs> Magda Goebbels. You see, the church does have its standards. <laughs> However, no, uh, it is estimated by Paul Johnson, Catholic historian, that more than 40% of the Waffen SS were practicing confessing Catholics. No one was ever excommunicated or threatened with excommunication for taking part in the final decision. And that was because of the alliance between the Nazi party and the church on two main things, anti-Bolshevism and anti-Semitism. 